Hey Conifer, welcome back to Lobo Tracks. I'm Nick. And I'm Peyton. Today, today we have a special holiday themed show for you guys. Uh, to commemorate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate during the holidays. Uh, we have some fun Christmas Hanukkah segments, as mentioned, um, and the usual stuff, so yeah. All right, let's get into it. First off, we have the band and orchestra concerts on Tuesday and Thursday, so let's get into those. <laughs> Thank you, Juliana, and myself for doing that segment. Yeah, that was wonderful, Peyton. Thank you. Um, now up, we have the weather with Jack. Hi, I'm definitely Jack. Um, it's a little brisk. It, it, it's cold. I probably should have wore a jacket. Um, back to you guys. Wonderful weather reporting, Jack. That was that was captivating. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Anyways, now we have a little joking segment that me and Peyton per performed for you all. Um, it's very bad, but we hope you like it. As you can see, uh, we're now sillyified. We have transformed into jokesters, if you will. We are, we are the jokesters. We are the jokesters now. I, I will start by saying a joke. What do you call Santa's favorite singer? What do you call Santa's favorite singer? Elphis Presley. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> What's that in you, Slapper? That was a good one, man. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We, appreciate, we appreciate all your love. We appreciate all your love. Oh, oh somebody sorry. get that. Sir, you cool. okay? Yeah. All right. All right, Peyton. All right. What, what do snowmen call their kids? What do they call their kids? Chill. Dren. Oh my gosh, how did you come up with that one? I have no idea. That was a table slap in my opinion. Okay, I gotta run, I gotta, I gotta do this fast. We got, we got, okay. we got a short time. Okay, what, what do you, what do you, uh, how do you wish a dog a Merry Christmas? How do you wish a dog a Merry Christmas? Fully snobby dog. Oh! <laughs> All right, now you go, you go. Audience All right, all right, all right. Um, what is a snowman's to go to to go order? What is a snowman's go to to go order? A frosty. Oh <laughs> my gosh! All right, that was uh, that was jokes with Nick and Peyton. We yeah. hope you enjoyed. Yeah, this, uh, this has thank been you, jokes. Thank you, audience. Thank you, audience. We are. We all love back, you. Back We're to back, Nick back and Peyton. Back to me. Yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. I think that was the most hilarious thing we've ever filmed. That that had to be the funniest. We we had to stop filming like eight times because you know we were just laughing so hard. Um, Anyways, uh, now on to everybody's favorite segment. We have student interviews. Yeah. With our with our student body here at Conifer. We these are, interviews are a couple weeks old, so if you guys don't remember, that's uh, filming them. That's our uh, bad. We, you definitely did. Yeah. So. You you did. You, you did. consented to this. Yeah. Just just making sure. Just remember that. All right. Thank you. When do Christmas decorations go up? Well, this year, because it's my 18th birthday, they went up on November 11th. That is very early. I respect it, though. Ooh, you know what? Um, by the end of this week, they will start to go up. Mr. Smith was kind enough to gift me with like a wooden tree he created, so that's the first thing going up. That's what... Like, before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Day after Thanksgiving. Um, I'd say like, beginning of break. Beginning of break, all right. You know. When do they get taken down? Day after uh, Christmas. Actually, yeah, on Christmas Day, they get taken down. Yeah. Uh, I'd say like a week after Christmas, a week or two, you know. All Pretty right. lazy. That's a good question. I don't know. Okay. Whenever my parents feel like taking it down. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, you gotta stay festive for a little while. But usually around January 3rd or 4th. Okay, so that's reasonable. Oof. You know what? I would say 
Let's go with just after New Year's. Just after New Year's. Just after. That's New Year's. very reasonable. Yes. All right, and finally, what is your favorite dish for Christmas dinner? Ooh. You know what? I gotta give it up to Mama Colangelo on this one. It's gonna be stuffed shells. Stuffed shells? That's yes. Nice one. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Colangelo. Yes, thank you, appreciate it. That wasn't <laughs> awkward at all. Yeah. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Thank you very much. Yep. Probably ham. Ham of some sort. I'm a big ham guy. That's fair. Um, I don't really have a favorite Christmas dish, but I mean, if there's some good dessert, you know. That's what's oh, good. All right, thank you guys. Yeah. Yep. Great. Thank you for watching Lobo Tracks. Uh, as you may note, we are wearing different clothing because we had to film an emergency conclusion so we can show you an upcoming short film. Yeah, so uh, this definitely isn't like from last year or anything. Yeah, but it's one of our favorite things we ever filmed. Never got released, so we're going to show it to you now. Enjoy. All right, let's, let's go. God, I hate Christmas so much. Just an infectious disease that spreads like rampant, ruining these people. Are you kidding me? In front of my locker, they put this stuff in front of my locker. Just. Dude, I can't. What's up, buddy? What? You okay there, sport? Ah, uh, who are you? Where am I? Well, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Don't, don't you know me? I was famous a little bit ago, but anyways, you're in the hallway of memories here. It's got all your memories from Christmas past. What? Why? Well, somebody didn't have enough holiday spirit, chump. But that's why I'm here, to fix that. Okay. Ow. Let me explain. Well, see, this is the hallway of memories, so it would be fitting if we go to a memory. This is from 30 years ago, when you were 8 years old. You want to take a look? Sure. All right. Hey, son. How are you liking your new Christmas ears? I hate Christmas. No. Why are you so sour, son? Huh. Wow. Mother was always so nice to me. I was such a jerk, though. Yeah, you kind of work it, but listen, it's never too late to change. And to prove that, I'm going to send you on to my friend. Who's your friend? You'll find out. Have fun! What? <laughs> what? Who are you? Why, the ghost of Christmas future, of course! You act like you've never seen a ghost before, young man. I haven't until like ten minutes ago, but why are you here? Why, I'm here to give you the gift of foresight. Clairvoyancy, if you will, young man. I'm here to show you what your life will look like if you continue to be a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, a party pooter, even if you will. Well, how are you going to do that? Allow me to show you. Grandpa, I got your present. Uh, I got your present. Yeah. <sighs> I hate Christmas. That's why nobody loves you. Voila. Oh, what was that? Why, that was you in 30 years. Oh my gosh, I was so mean. If Indeed I don't start acting were? happy, then, then my life's going to go so downhill. Well, I can't make that decision for you, but it's certainly within your best interest, young man. Where am I? Ghosts, where are they? What day? You, sir, sir, what day is it? You're the ghost. Uh, it's, uh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas? It's Christmas, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, I hope I have time left to get the presents. Oh, oh.